everyone, welcome back to another week's video. I want to discuss the topic of embodiment. And with most of the videos that I share with you guys, it is always an extension of kind of like what I'm going through, my process, my healing journey. And I love to share that with you guys. So we're going to discuss what it means to embody the energy and the person that we want to be or the person that we want to become. This is a great topic to touch on right now because we're still at the beginning of the year and I know that a lot of people have, they have their goals and their New Year's resolutions and things like that, that they want to achieve. But the biggest thing when it comes to achieving any goal is embodying the person that would have that goal accomplished. Let me give you an example. If you are someone who wants to be in a relationship or if you're someone who wants to have a certain business, what does that person look like? How do they act? How do they carry themselves? What are the habits and the things that they do on a daily basis? And of course, everything comes down to our identity. So this is how you can embody the energy of who it is that you want to be or who it is you want to become. And obviously the step one is what do they look like? What do they act like? Get very crystal clear on what it is that they do on a daily basis. What are the habits that they have? How do they carry themselves? And then instead of just like knowing this in your brain and kind of like setting that goal or that intention, what is it on a daily basis that you can do to show up as that person to embody the energy? Because if you think about the term embodiment, it really does mean to become that. So it, you're moving it from outside of like, oh, it's just a thought or something in my head to something that we're really acting out and becoming in our life. So in order to embody the energy, it means that you have to show up as that person. And this isn't going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen even in a couple weeks. But the more that you are able to show up as that person, meaning that you are changing your habits. And when we change our habits, then we change our identity. So if you are someone who wants to become healthy, for example, you don't just want to say, I want to become healthy. This is my intention. But then you continue to live your life as if you are an unhealthy person. You continue to eat, you know, tons of fast food, processed food. You're not going to exercise and you know, you're not taking care of your mental health. These things aren't going to help you reach that goal. So making sure that you can embody the energy of a healthy person. What does a healthy person do? Well, most healthy people, they're going to eat a balanced diet. They're going to exercise. They're going to speak kinder things to themselves. So that is something that you can embody if you want to be healthy. And then the same rule applies in business. The same rule applies in, you know, if you want to have a healthy relationship or if you want to show up as a great partner, how is it that you would treat your partner and show up as that person? So this is moving from talking about goals, setting intention, and then just going on with your daily life to actually taking those things that you want to become and then breaking it down into bite-sized pieces and making it to where you can actually implement that into your daily life so that you're changing who you are. You're changing your identity by changing your habits and changing the way that you see yourself. This will make such a huge difference because I'm sure you've heard the term small changes every day adds up to huge results and it starts with just a thought. But if we just leave it at, oh, it would be cool if I could be this or it'd be cool if I could be healthier, whatever it is that you want to be and you just stop it at the thought, you're not going to bring that into full fruition or even manifestation because you don't believe it. If you believe it, you take action on it. So break it down into bite-sized pieces, make it so it's not so hard for you to understand or even something that feels like it's too big to accomplish, break it down into smaller things. If you try to do all of this stuff at once, I've noticed this with a lot of my clients, is they get overwhelmed and then they just don't do anything. So it's better for you to start with one small step or even one small habit really get that down and integrate that into your life and then move on to the next thing so that we're not so cluttered in our mind and we're not so overwhelmed by so much that needs to happen. And I know that a lot of people will say, well, I can multitask. I can do so many things at once. But the truth is we as humans, we get more done and we're more efficient when we focus on one task instead of trying to do so many things at once. That's pretty much all I wanted to touch on in today's video. There's obviously so many more topics that we can touch on when it comes to embodiment, like fully embodying you know, our masculine and feminine energies. Those are things that once again, 
It isn't just something that you say you're gonna do, it's something that actually requires changes in our life, changes to our daily routines, and changes to our habits so that we can show up as that person. But once again, this video was just kind of the basic overview of this, of how to change your habits, of course, to then embody that energy so that you can actually see changes in your life and it's going to change your identity. So if you guys want more information on this or you want a continuation of this video, then let me know in the comments below and give the video a like, it supports my channel, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!